Well, Mayor, welcome uh, to the showgrounds. Um, so we're here obviously to hear updates on the Level Up Fund, and I would just like to know what would a £16 million investment at the showgrounds mean to, to the Causeway Coast and Glens area? It would be hard to put into words how, how much it would mean. Um, there are so many facets of that. I mean, there, there's first of all, there's the work that would have to be done. Uh, so, you know, how much that would bring into the local economy. Uh, men working here, that money they had been spent around the town. Um, you know, that's only the start of it. Uh, then when it would happen, just the whole, uh, the whole excitement of it and the positivity that it would bring to Causeway Coast and Glens, I think, would be phenomenal. And does the Causeway Coast and Glens area benefit from much investment that comes into Northern Ireland? Not as much as we would like. Um, we're very fortunate that we are a university town and that, you know, with the university there, uh, we're getting a wee bit of investment here and there, but not nearly as much as we would like. And, you know, we are a poor area of Northern Ireland. We don't have the big businesses paying rates that most other council areas have. Um, so, you know, we're a fairly poor relation when it comes to to getting money in. Um, our main income is rates. So, you know, um, it would be good if, if we had more money coming into this area. Well, obviously, if our bid's successful, there would be an increased footfall of around 60,000 people. What would that mean for the local economy, then? I think that would just be, again, fantastic. Fantastic for the local businesses. I mean, we're all crying out for it. Um, footfall's everything, and... You know, whenever you see people uh, doing the surveys and that, that's how they work out how much the spend is going to be in the local shops and that. They measure the footfall and then they take from that. And an increase of that size would just be, it would be brilliant. Well, obviously, what would it mean to the area to bring the likes of international games here, women games, uh, play, play to the I wouldn't. The place just be rocking. I mean, like, you're sort of jealous whenever you look at, at the light of the National Stadium and that and, and see the place. Uh, Corian, the stadium has had massive improvements over the last few years, but if this development happened, um, it would compete with any other stadium in Northern Ireland and uh, it would just be brilliant. And I think, you know, we have the infrastructure and all here for it, and I think it would be brilliant. It would, it would just raise it to a new level. And Colin, uh, what would the £60 million investment mean to the club and the fans? Well, <clears throat> £16 million investment would be putting the... Uh, just what uh, the mayor said here, it's all about the infrastructure and bringing not necessarily the stadium up to, to date, but create, uh, creating a community hub here for all of the community. Uh, there's great footprint here. If we look on it, uh, you see the community hub we're talking about. And obviously, there's other areas for development around the place. But not only within the ground, but frontage onto the Ballycastle Road area would uh, be substantial investment in this area and would lift the whole area. And what are the plans for, for the showgrounds then? Plans for the showgrounds are basically, we want to make this uh, like a, an 8,000 all-seater stadium uh, with safe standing areas within that, so that we can uh, accommodate junior internationals, ladies internationals, uh, and but not only that, geographically where we sit here, we're perfectly positioned, as the Mayor has already said, about the infrastructure and you know the transport links where we sit here. But we're also on the north coast where we have the best golf courses in the in the in the country, uh, if not Ireland, um, so we've got all of that there that we could put training bases in for clubs in the UK who don't want to go warm weather training. So all of that there is very very relevant to what we're trying to do here, and uh, yeah, it's possible. And then what would it be like to, to welcome eight thousand fans potentially after a big game at the showgrounds? Then, well, I'll put my little hat on for this one. Um, and the reason why I do that is because that would tell me where Niffle would be as a league if we could do that. Uh, but not only that, it would be a, an extremely proud moment for everybody connected to Coleraine Football Club if we could do that. Um, I, I, I do remember the Spurs game here. I do remember some of the other European games here. I do remember the big crowds here. And I would love to see that in a, a stadium 
befitting of uh, modern day standards. I know when the Irish League put one international, the Super Cup and the tournament finals could come back here too. Right? Well, I have no doubt they can come back here, uh, and I think it. Uh, I'm not being disrespectful to anywhere else, and I know the, the the committee worked exceptionally hard behind the scenes to try and make it work here. I understand why the finals were taken away from here, and uh, you know. But at this stage, I would have to say we are making this stadium fit for per fit for purpose for the example that we could get Super Cup NA back here to where it back to where it belongs, I'll be honest with you, and to its home. And I think everyone from the teams that come and compete in here would also back me up in that there. They would love to play finals here. Mayor and Colin, many thanks for, for speaking to us this evening. Thanks, Johnny.